Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Hitman Blood Wing. We're going on to Till Death Do Us Part, where we have to be killing two targets and protecting one more. Where our targets are Buddy Muldoon and John LeBlanc. Uh, this level's not too hard. Uh, obviously, we're going to take in the Silver Waller. No new upgrades for it, uh, as well as our miscellaneous equipment. Uh, last miscellaneous equipment is going to be the Kevlar vest, which will not go, uh, which will not be lost on changing a suit. So we'll be getting that shortly. We're immediately going to go to. <clears throat> Uh, we're gonna, the first thing is, I'm going to show you guys just how little the, uh, like, how kind of messed up the AI is. They're not allowed to dance. So, there's this couple here making out. But, if we look right there, they don't notice. Then also, here's another thing. Uh, see that group over there that's fighting? They're clothed. They are now naked running after me. Come here, buddy. Oh, he didn't even notice me. Okay, he did, but he's not chasing me. That was what we want. We wanted him to chase us, but we can do it without the suit, without the outfit. Actually, no, we do need an outfit. So his body's gonna be found soon. God dang it. Well, we immediately died because he decided to run up here with his gun out. If I was faster, I probably could have yanked the gun out of his hand and then just uh, silently took him out, but. But thankfully, it's not that hard. It doesn't take too long, I should say. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Is he really just gonna... Do that and then go away again. Ah! Alright, that works. Her key comes any second now. Now he's dead, and now all we gotta go do is Doom Buddy. Yeah, so his body immediately got found. I think it's it's just because of where I shot him. Oh, that is ballsy of me. I did not realize that that was locked. Same with this door. Uh, what I need is the kitchen, and I don't remember where the kitchen is, because there's a lot of doors in this place. That's not it. So there's the party. Uh, so we have two options here. We could either just take them out right here Or we could do this where we poison the cake which we're gonna have to wait anyway <coughs> All right, so now it's basically just wander around until buddy eats the cake
Uh, so I guess what we're going to do is just go mess with this Easter egg. Yeah, so that's that's the level. Like this level is incredibly easy. Oh yeah. Oh. There's run here. Yeah, so that is the Easter egg. And it's pretty much the level as well. <coughs> so I guess I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a house tour. So this is a bedroom. Uh, this is some kind of balcony. Oh my god, I... Oh, there's where we killed uh, the father. Here's a little TV room. With a little closet. Yeah, so like you could clearly see this level has a lot in it. But it is thankfully just super easy. Uh, I hated this level when I first started playing this game because it was just really difficult to get or to, like to play on. Because uh, I mean, look, this place is an absolute maze. Uh, I also found it just really difficult because of how much there, like, just because of how much there is to the game. Like right now, I'm just kind of roaming around because I'm kind of lost. There's a dude just staring at a wall. Is Buddy? Where is Buddy? Oh, he just got done eating it. He's probably dropping dead as we as I speak. Yep, and there he is. God, he's dead. Alrighty, so that's the level now. You just run. If you want to, you could go and retrieve your suit and then leave. <coughs> Mainly because most of the time, uh, you even if you do get caught, you could make it out way before you die or really way before you even get hit because pretty much they all have shotguns and like widespread weapons so apparently oh yeah we shot four times we shot the door twice we shot uh the dad and then we shot the little like shiny thing that attracted the naked guys uh then we also I thought, we had the, I thought that would count as an accident, but I guess not. So two bodies were found. It was the two people that we killed because all we killed were the targets. Witnesses somehow two. That's a bit odd, but whatever, I guess. Because we could just go and bribe civilians and then just be done with it. I don't know what would have caused that, but... So as always, here are the things... Oh, that's the little, that's the place that we went to in, like, the second, the, like, I don't know, the third level? Second level? No, yeah, third level, I think. Call for Cliff to have it, guys. Uh, oh, man, that's my apologies. Hitler memorabilia, there's an interesting thing. And stuff talking about Margot LeBlanc. Stuff about the school board. And oh man, a hired killer wanted by police. And there's the last one. So we can save and move on to. Uh, I don't remember. This is where his story ends. Whose story? 47s. I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. It's not his funeral. It is. But you didn't get him in Mississippi. No. We got close, but he slipped away. He knew we were on him now. He was running scared. Where'd he go? Where does anyone go for a last desperate roll of the dice? 
Oh yeah, so this is gonna be house cards. It suited me. I had some business to attend to. Those missions out in the sticks may have ordered the time, but things are still deteriorating rapidly. We're still losing agents. You got the briefing? Yesterday. Got the pictures right here. Mohammed bin Faisal Al Khalifa, the scientist Tariq Abdul Latif, and Henrik Schmutz of South Africa. Interesting trio. The DNA angle is disturbing. This may tie into the group that's trying to liquidate us. Welcome to Las Vegas, 47. There's a white supremacist from South Africa. His name is Hendrik Schmutz, who is trying to sell some DNA material and lab reports to the wealthy Saudi Sheikh, Mohammed bin Faisal Al Khalifa. The Sheikh is working for someone else, but we're not sure who. Our client wants to force them into the open by disrupting the deal. You've got three targets. The Africana, the Sheikh, and the Sheikh scientist, who will be there to verify the material. We've been losing a lot of agents lately, 47. Any mission could be a setup at this point. Alrighty, so this is my absolute favorite level in the game. Our house cards, it is so brain-numbingly easy. Most of the time, you're just going to spend sitting around in elevators. It's kind of boring, if you really think about it. But, it just kind of shows how easy this level is. Uh, also, there's a hilarious kill in the shake that we are going to be able to do that baffles me that it works. Uh, because you, a bunch of people will see me do it, but yet none of them will be witnesses. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Have a nice day.